Hello everyone and welcome to Recap V. Today we'll be talking about a movie called The Tiger, an old hunter's tale. The Tiger is a 2015 South Korean period action drama film about a hunter, prepared to kill the last tiger of Joseon. Watch out for spoilers and let us begin. The movie starts off in Korea in 1915, where we see a man Chun Man Duke and his son Suk Yi playing with a wooden gun. And then they start to head back home, where we see the wife of Man Duke trying to prepare food with the little that is left. Man Duke then starts to go for a hunt, his wife tries to give him the food she made, but he tells her to eat it with the boy, and then he heads out. Out in the forest, he spots scratches on a tree, and as he is moving around he spots blood. He sees that the blood is fresh, which means the animal is close. So he aims his gun to the sky, and shoots a couple of shots. As he is reloading he hears a cracking sound, he aims the gun, and spots what seemed like a tiger running. So he goes to hide behind a tree. He hears the sound of the tiger, approaching, so he turns, and locks eyes with it while aiming his gun, the tiger also seemed to have killed his prey. It then starts to charge towards him, so he shoots. The scene then cuts, and we are sent in 1925, we see the Japanese governor general, overseeing the occupation gathers tiger pelts, as a hobby to display cultural dominance over the Korean people, and soon becomes obsessed with killing possibly the last remaining tiger in Korea. An enormous one-eyed male that lives on the mountain. He has killed scores of hunters and evaded capture many times, including Man Duke and his former hunting companions. The general is angry at his officer for not being able to catch the tiger. And tells him that if he isn't able to catch the tiger he'll have to take responsibility, threatening him. We then see a group of hunters, led by Gu Kyung. They are going through a forest trying to find the tiger. As they move through the forest, they find a dead body. There, they also find footprints of a tiger, and its cubs. Gu Kyung says that they are the footprints of Mountain Lord's tiger mate and his cubs. But they aren't able to find any trace of him. And so they start to set up some traps. We are then sent to the officer, trying to convince Man Duke to hunt down the tiger since he is the only one that can find his trace, and is the best hunter they got. But Man Duke says he won't do it, since he has retired, and doesn't hunt anymore, and then he leaves. While outside we see his son, grown up, waiting for him. We are then sent to the hunting team, who had caught the tiger's mate, and its cubs. As they are moving through the forest, with the body of the tiger's mate and the cubs. The one-eyed tiger is looking at them, from a cliff on the mountain. The group sends the bodies to the officer. And then Gu Kyung goes to talk with him. The officer tells Gu Kyung that they have no time. And that they need to catch the tiger if they like to eat. As Gu Kyung prepares to leave, the officer asks about Man Duke. But Gu Kyung tells him that they can't force him to join them, but says that he has a plan. Then we see Man Duke, to a doctor, the two of them seem to be real close friends. And Man Duke, now a herb gatherer, sells them to the doctor. Then we see Suki with a girl that he likes. She tells him that her mother is marrying her to another guy. Even though the two of them love each other, Suki doesn't have a job or anything to finance the girl, for the future. So that's why her mother isn't letting them be together. Suki hugs her and tells her to wait and says that he's got a plan. Then we see the group of hunters, who are laying traps for the tiger, while using one of his cubs as bait. As they are doing that, in the distance we see the tiger watching them. Then we see Man Duke making medicine for his son. Then Suki talks about the one-eyed tiger, and says that there's a big reward for whoever catches it. And then asks if they should do it themselves. But Man Duke angrily looks at him, scaring him, so he goes inside. After this, we are sent back to the group, who are camping. While Gu Kyung is listening for the traps to set. He hears something, calls for the others and they all run toward the traps. When they reach there, all they find are wolves captured. While the tiger, had dodged all their traps. And taken his cub. Then we see the group going to Man Duke's house. There Gu Kyung asks Man Duke to go with them, and catch the tiger. Man Duke doesn't agree, then Gu Kyung reminds him of his wife, that was killed by the tiger, and tells him to get revenge. But Man Duke gets angry and asks them to leave. So they do, but outside, Gu Kyung asks Suk Yi how old he is and then leaves. Then we are sent to the past, where we see Man Duke running through a bamboo forest, with the group and some other hunters. 
They reach a spot, where they find dead bodies, and now a young-looking Gu Kyung holding his dead brother, and him wounded on his face. He tells Man Duke it was the one-eyed tiger, and tells him that it went to the town, and that it was angry. He runs to the town, and then stops, and starts to aim his gun. He hears a sound, turns, and shoots. After he does that, he hears the tiger behind him. The tiger simply looks at him and then leaves. After the tiger leaves, he sees that the person that made the sound was his wife, and that he had shot her. After this, we see Man Duke and his son walking through the mountain. Suki says that he wants to join the hunt for the tiger. This angers his father, and then he starts to shout at him. Suki then gets angry as well, asking why he can't, and that picking herb might be enough for his father, but not for him. And saying that he doesn't want to live like his father. Man Duke then smacks him, knocking him down. Suki gets up and says that he is only doing this out of guilt, after what happened with his wife. Man Duke is surprised, and asks how he knows about it. But Suki says that the people of the town talk, and that he knows it from them. After this we see Suki talking to the officer, asking him to join the hunt. The officer then gives Suki a rifle as a gift, and then he leaves. One of the men from the group, Chilgu, doesn't seem happy about the boy going with them, fearing for the boy's life and for Manduke, knowing that the boy is the only thing he has. Then we see Manduke going home, he called for his son but no one answers. Then he remembers what his son had told him, and figures out that he has gone with the hunt. Manduke then starts running, going to find him. Then we see Suki with a team of men, making loud noises and shouting trying to alert the tiger. While we see the group, separating from the team, using the other cub as a decoy. The plan was, for the team to chase the tiger towards the hunter's group, so they can kill it. But the tiger instead, shows up at the team. He comes up from a giant rock, while everyone is watching at him frozen, and scared. It then roars at them making them run for their lives, while it starts to chase and kill them one by one. The group then hears the gunshots, and starts to run towards them. There we see the tiger massacring everyone, while Suki is frozen, and shocked. A man pushes him down a tree, and as the tiger seemed to have killed most of the man. It slowly shows behind Suki, he acts dead, and the tiger moves on. But then another man behind Suki gets up, to shoot the tiger. The tiger turns at the man, but Suki thinks is looking at it, so he gets scared, and starts to aim his gun at the tiger, shooting it. The group reaches the place, but all they see there are dead bodies and wounded people. Gu Kyung figures out that the tiger has gone to get his cub, so he orders them to run back. As he is about to go he spots, Suki wounded but alive. But Gu Kyung then starts to leave, while Suki begs him not to. But he doesn't listen since if he stays he'll miss the chance to kill the tiger. But in the end, when the group reaches there, the tiger had already taken his cub, and ran. Gu Kyung spots blood and sees that is fresh, he figures out that the tiger is wounded and says they should go after it, since he shouldn't have gone far. But Chil Gu then remembers about Suki, so the others start running back. When they reach there, they find a pack of wolves eating on the dead bodies, they scare them off, and find Suki's rifle, but he is nowhere to be found. Then we see Suki, being dragged by wolves. Chil Gu then gets angry at Gu Kyung for allowing the boy to go with them, and starts to punch him. But then his punch is stopped, when Chil Gu turns to see who it is, he sees Man Duke, asking for his son. Then we see Su Ki being eaten alive by the wolves. As that is happening, the tiger appears. The wolves get scared, and one of them tries to attack him, but gets brutally killed. So the others start to flee. Then the tiger goes up to the boy, and lays close to him, while he slowly passes away. After this we see Gu Kyung talking to the general. He asks the general to give him soldiers, to kill the tiger, since normal hunters don't stand a chance. The officer doesn't like this idea. But the general agrees, and declares the tiger, the king of tigers, and says that he should be given respect. Then we see Man Duke at his home, sad and crying for his son. He hears a sound and when he looks behind him, he sees the tiger. It had brought the body of his son to him. Then we get a flashback, where we see Man Duke, aiming his gun at a tiger, and behind it, two cubs running. The tiger charges towards him, and he shoots. The shot wounds it, but doesn't kill it. 
as it's about to attack him again, it gets shot in the head by Gu Kyung, killing her. The two cubs run towards it, and we see that one of the cubs is the one-eyed tiger. Gu Kyung aims his gun to kill them, but Man Duke stops him. He advises Gu Kyung to leave them to their fate, allowing the mountain to decide if they are to survive. Man Duke, however, secretly relocates the cubs to a safe den, and throughout winter, he also sends food to them, so that they don't starve. The one-eyed cub's sibling dies not long afterward. But the surviving cub grows up to become the mountain lord. Then in the present the one-eyed tiger leaves, while Man Duke goes to see his son and starts crying. Then we see the army prepared and putting explosives all over the mountain. They activate the explosives, and start shooting at all the animals that try to run away. Now in a foggy mountain, they aren't able to see well. So the tiger slowly but surely, disposes of them. The soldiers then gain control, they line up, and open fire on the tiger, managing to hit it, but with little to no damage. So the tiger charges towards them, killing them. As the tiger is killing the soldiers, Gu Kyung and the group hide. And when Gu Kyung has a clear shot on the tiger, he shoots, wounding it in the eye. Then they go to capture it. As the others hold the tiger, Gu Kyung aims his gun at it. But before he could shoot, the tiger frees himself and then starts to attack them. After disarming the others, it goes and attacks Gu Kyung, killing him. Then we see the general, angry, and feeling embarrassed for the Imperial Army of Japan, to lose to a tiger, and orders them to go after it. As some of the soldiers are sleeping and resting, the officer wakes up Chil Gu, and tells him to bring Man Duke at all costs. Then we see Man Duke, he goes outside, to the forest, where he sees the wounded tiger waiting for him. The lonely man and the lonely tiger stare at each other. Man Duke says to the tiger that he understands, and the tiger then starts to leave. Meaning the tiger was there, to ask him to go and kill it. Since that would be much better than to be killed by some soldiers. When Chil Gu and the others reach his home. They see that is burned, and Chil Gu understands what Man Duke wants to do. Hunter and Tiger, now both bereft of mates and offspring, each tread fatefully toward the snow-blasted mountaintop, with the bounty hunters and army in close pursuit. Man Duke reaches the top of the mountain and waits for the tiger. Soon following, the tiger appears. Man Duke then kneels down, as a sign of respect, and they start the fight. The tiger charges Man Duke, but does not pounce as Man Duke fires. Man Duke sadly asks the tiger why he stopped, and proceeds to take out a knife at the mountain's edge. The tiger eventually pounces at him, and they both fall off the mountain together to their deaths. As Man Duke and the tiger fall down, Chilgu manages to reach the top of the mountain, but is too late to save Man Duke. The governor general of the Japanese army asks the hunters what happened after the incident, and they relate to him a story about the mountain lord becoming a god. The governor general comes to the conclusion that his army is unable to fight during the looming winter and has decided to withdraw until the next spring. Then we see a flashbacks of Man Dukes and the tiger's early lives during happier times, returning to the present afterwards as evening snow falls, covering their lifeless bodies locked in an eternal embrace. And that is where the movie ends, hope you all enjoyed this recap, make sure to leave a like, comment on what you think about it, and don't forget to subscribe, so I can make more recaps of movies, TV shows, animes, etc. See you all, on the next video.